So right now we are at the curriculum fair, which we also call this year the Student Learning and Innovation Showcase. Us 7th and 8th graders make these games and we do activities to help them learn about their um, upcoming future. Uh, we have a cardboard arcade and basically uh, there's some games that are completely made of cardboard and you have to win them and there's others that we coded our own games and we decorated like an arcade box so it feels like you're in like a real arcade. Similar to what Kane's arcade, like Kane himself wanted, um, we also want them to um, get that spark of creativity and understand that not everything is technology driven and some things from the past and simple uh, concepts which we apply in our daily life can be used to create wondrous games. Using like critical thinking and creative thinking will help them become more successful in their like college life and in their career and so I think Kane's Arcade which is what this um, cardboard arcade is based of will help students do just that. First we had to brainstorm what we wanted our game to be and what we wanted it to look like. We didn't have a lot of supplies or a lot of experience but we made a lot of these games on our own and so if you want to try at home that's great. It's a great thing to do. I took away two major lessons. One of them how to collaboratively, collaboratively work in a team and uh, how we could uh, think more innovatively to make um, wondrous things from cardboard. Sometimes it doesn't turn out the way you want it to, so uh, I've learned to stay grounded after this experience and uh, I think my creative skills have grown a lot. <laughs>